What on earth do we need to know about the splenic vein? Well, let's say we got a dude in his 60s. He has a history of chronic pancreatitis, and he has some hematomesis and also dark stools. We see he has some bleeding from varices in the gastric fundus. So there's some sort of like portal hypertension going on. And you have to know which vascular structure is most likely the cause here. So hematomesis, that's important because hematomesis is telling us there's some sort of an upper GI bleed. The dark stools also suggest there's some upper GI tract issues, maybe some bleeding as well. And then chronic pancreatitis, that can lead to things like splenic vein thrombosis. And the gastric varices are associated with elevated pressure in the drainage veins. So here's our liver. And this guy right here is the left gastric vein. And then it goes into the right gastric vein. This right here is the superior mesenteric vein. And this right here is kind of like the fundus here, our stomach. And then there's some sort of like fundal varices here as well. And then our spleen. So basically, I'm thinking not here in these gastric veins, but rather just below that, just inferior, you have the splenic vein, which goes out and connects to the spleen. And that's where the problem is located. So right here, there's a splenic vein thrombosis. So the short gastric veins drain blood from the gastric fundus into the splenic vein. And pancreatic inflammation can cause a blood clot within that vein right there. That increases pressure and leads to gastric varices only in the fundus. You might be wondering, well, how did you know it's only in the fundus? Well, the fundus of the stomach is drained by the short gastric veins, and these drain into the splenic, not the portal vein directly. And so if there is a splenic vein thrombosis, then pressure is going to back up in the short gastric veins, and that causes isolated dilation and fundal varices. So in the question stem, if they tell you, hey, we've got some bleeding in the gastric fundus, and then we have a normal esophagus and normal rest of the stomach, that rules out the left gastric vein portal hypertension, because that would affect both the esophagus and the stomach, and also the SMV, which would affect the lower stomach and the small bowel as well. So fundus only varices means that it's going to be the short gastric vein buildup and splenic vein thrombosis. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe.